Hey everybody, this is Pastor John here with your midweek uh, devotional. And you know what I want to do today is I want to share a psalm with us all and have us reflect on this psalm a little bit together. And that psalm is a familiar one. Um, it's Psalm 23. And I understand that that's a psalm we probably don't associate with Advent too often. But, you know, this last week, uh, I've had several conversations with different people, different families who are really going through a tough time right now, whether it's the sudden loss of a loved one or just the illnesses that family members are experiencing. And as much joy and anticipation as we have in Advent in this holiday season, as we prepare our hearts and our minds to celebrate the birth of our Savior, it's also been a reminder for me this week that the holidays can also be a very difficult time for many. And I've been really gravitating to Psalm 23. And what I want to do is I'm just going to read it for us today. And what I want you to do as I read it, or if you go back and re-read it on your own a few times, is really just think about which part of the psalm speaks to you the most and have some time to reflect on why. Okay, so this is Psalm 23. It says, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I shall, shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. You know, this is a reminder for me as I've been reflecting on this psalm that we all have gone through hard times in our lives, or perhaps we're going through a tough time right now, whether that's suffering or doubts or broken relationships, the death of a loved one, the list can go on. But this psalm really reminds us that we don't need to live in the fear or the pain or death of our reality in this world. Because of Jesus' work on the cross, and that is what we are anticipating this holiday season, we can know for certain that our eternity is secure. And not because we are being a good person or because our circumstances are good, but because we have, as Pastor Carl talked about in his sermon, a good shepherd who has laid his life down for us, his sheep. So today, what I want you to do again is just reflect on that psalm. What stands out to you? For me, it was he restores my soul. He restores my soul. And as you're reading, I just want you to remember that, that we can thank God for caring for our every need, that we can thank God for giving us the strength to endure every day. We can thank God that God silence our fears, that God gives us rest. And ultimately, we can give thanks and praise to God that, that he is good and that his love never stops pursuing us. Mm -hmm.